killer whales are hungry. The southern resident killer whales, according to a study from the Center for Whale Research, need to eat 18 to 25 Chinook salmon a day. That means all three pods all together need about 1,400 Chinook salmon every day just to survive. A new scientific study that just came out shows that killer whales aren't just eating Chinook salmon, they're also eating coho salmon. But coho are even smaller. So they're going to have to eat even more coho. Here you go, take good care of them. 200 years ago, salmon were so thick in the Salish Sea that when it came time to spawn, the rivers were stacked with salmon returning to their home streams where they were born. Now there are just 5% of wild salmon left and fish hatcheries help keep salmon in the Salish Sea. We need hatcheries to keep them from going extinct. Salmon need your help too. My name is Mira Lutz Castle. I work with the Sea Doc Society, as in sea doctors. We are scientists, wildlife veterinarians, and a great team of Salish Sea heroes who take action to help the Salish Sea, our home. Thanks to our hatcheries, our community partners, and even some of you are raising baby coho salmon right now. Here they are, last winter, hatching and wiggling in the water for their very first time. How cute are they? You could even pick one and give it a name. Write it in your student journal. Your babies need to be released in a coho salmon safe stream this spring. So we have a problem to solve. You can help by determining a safe release site for our coho salmon. This is gonna take field science. Hmm, we'll have to go outside. We'll have to check the weather. Do you think it's gonna rain today? Nature detectives use science and traditional knowledge from tribal elders to make decisions based on evidence to help our wildlife. Wildlife like your baby co-host. These babies need a home stream. Something biologists have observed is that coho are especially sensitive to pollution. We've been seeing this in local urban streams in the last decade. What was the culprit? You'll find out as you start to uncover clues. You'll find out what salmon need to survive and choose a site to set your baby coho free. Will it be safe for your salmon? Start your observation and evidence gathering now. Your teacher will support your journey but they don't have the answers either. You will have a community scientist to help you in your own authentic scientific process to make a decision based on your evidence. Finally, you'll recommend a solution to our problem, a site to release the salmon. Use this tool to track your own process of science along the way. It is so cool. You can even turn it into a PowerPoint automatically at the end. Share your evidence-based recommendation for a release site with your community scientist. We will tally the votes and choose a site to release the coho salmon this spring. Salish Sea heroes all around the Salish Sea are helping salmon. They are taking actions to improve salmon habitat, clean up the waterways, and help salmon to survive. You may even see yourselves featured on the Junior Sea Doctors online club. Just remember, the more salmon we save, the more food for killer whales. Good luck. <laughs>